and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a acrylic design set totally inspired by um, Tracy Lou and I am coming along and I am using my cuticle pusher and I am making sure that I have got enough pushed back so that I can go ahead and infill these nails. So these are short and sweet. We will be losing some length as always. But I thought I do a lot of long nails and I thought it would be really cute to show you how I actually work on a short set of nails as well because I do have a lot of short nails that I do. So yeah. So I am about to come in with my beast of a bit um from Petra Jake and I am going to fully remove all the bulk. This time we are going to go from a gel polish design so the strength and structure was in the acrylic and then polish on top whereas this time it is going to be an acrylic design so we are going to fully remove as much of that bulk as possible. We are going to get down my kids will be going num 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 because just look at that bit go it's just eating it it's it's snowing so obviously this bit is an acrylic design bit so it is not designed for the natural nail and as you can see this is my preferred shape so I as the as it tapers up to the top the the teeth get smaller and smaller so where I'm going right near the natural nail I'm not going on the natural nail as you can see we have beautiful healthy nails under there and that's just a color from an old design <laughs> she not got a bruise she's fine um yeah so it is finer up at the top end than it is down at the bottom now because I know we are going to lose some length as I'm going along side to side I am pressing a little my bit down at the back end so that the free edge is being thinned as you can see there because obviously when we lose length it's going to go up to the bulk a bit so yeah we are thinning that to next to nothing because it's the free edge and we don't want bulky tips now because I get so many people asking about my e-filing I have um, left the preparation in so I am coming in with my cuticle bit now and I am super excited because just after this set arrived I have my new rainbow bits so buzzing so I am going from the middle of the nail plate down and round and under that perinachium fold nothing aggressive and nothing intrusive just removing all that cuticle from the nail plate so now that I've gone from one side down to the other, I have reversed the rotation of my e-file and I am going down the other side. And we are not pressing on at this point, it is perfectly healthy and we're doing no damage. So I'm going to lose some length now, so I'm coming in with my files and we're just going to make sure them sidewalls are not bulging, we're going to make sure they're nice and tapered and we're just going to lose that length. So remember to support your client's finger guys, I mean even though they're short nails you don't want it wiggling and jiggling and causing them any unnecessary stress. So yeah we are going to just do the thumb and I am a nightmare for remembering to be in shot for my thumb. But it does get better. So I have, now I have done all that, I am just going to prep and just make sure that all that joining is nice. So this is a fine sand band. This is a 180 grit and it is on a low rev. So it is just going over and making sure that that is all perfect for application. So there's nothing, no pressure. It's just... There we go. Now I am coming in with my Katie Barnes cuticle scissors and as you can see that little tag there that was being annoying, that people, that is the cuticle that needs removing. Not all this skin, there is no need, no. It's just them unsightly little tags. 
So we've gone in and we've made sure that they're all pretty and they are. So I am coming in with my ultra ultimate simple clarity and I am just this is me prepping and priming the natural nail. I, I give it a little wipe with a damp brush. It does not touch the skin. We do not do overexposure. And I am just laying my really, really fine clear base. We only need a very, very thin clear base. Because if you, if you consider that we're doing an acrylic design, so I'm going to lay the coloured acrylic so I'm laying my clear base I'm going to lay the coloured acrylic or the glitter and then I'm going to cap it now all of that in this size of nail needs to be done unbelievably thin or you're going to have little chunks and we don't there's no need for little chunks no 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 so I have come in with a small and I mean small amount of wine o'clock because it is so pigmented you do not you do not need a lot so I am making sure that my bead blends backwards so that when I ombre it there is not a doorstep there is not going to be a concentration of color in any one place so I am just making sure that that is what I'm doing now because five of the, uh, four of these are going to be ombre and this one is going to be a glitter finger and this is hair of rat and it is so i can't decide whether it's more autumn or more halloween i i made it last halloween but it is so beautiful that i actually love it in with a little autumn set so yeah hair of rat glitter acrylic so so packed with glitter but yeah it works like a charm so yeah I, I like to let my coloured acrylic set up a little bit before I start going in with my next colour so that obviously because of the pigmentation that it's got chance to actually just set just that little bit so it's not going to run and bleed everywhere so yeah I am working from one to the other and then once I finish this one I'm going to go back to my index finger and start on with the next just so it's all nicely nice but, oh it's just so pretty no I saw the I saw Tracy Lou's design and I went I love that obviously she used different color because she uses a different brand but I went oh I love that these colors would be perfect so I was like you know you want them <laughs> so I am coming in with pumpkin pie and this is such a warm color it is just so beautiful and it just it makes me so happy mm. and it we wine o'clock it just blends like it like it's just one happy color changing so yeah it was it just all the way through I kept smiling and going I love this colour <laughs> you know when something just when you've been wanting to do something for a while and then you get chance to do it and you're just like I love this colour <laughs> I'm very sad I need a life I'm aware of this if you have a life please send it to Incandescent Shine <laughs> get to see of Mary so yes we are coming to the thumb and because it's an ombre it is the thing I do in my sleep sort of thing so it does not take me too long and yeah the, the, the colours sort of do my work for me but we are going to come along and cap them so I am capping in ultimate simple clarity it is a clear acrylic that is so clear but it sets up so nicely so that I can work faster because I was finding that I'm doing a full design and the other is great for students it really is it's great while you're learning and mastering what you're doing but then I'm sat there especially now winter's come in and acrylic sets slower in the cold and I'm like I need something to keep up with me so yeah yeah but I am just obviously I give a little bit of a damp 
wipe over now this is not my brush saturated as you can see all her fingers are dry and stay that way but it, it's a damp wipe so that when I put one layer of acrylic to the other or like when I lay my simple clarity down so that it has something to bond to so that it's not dry and gonna leave nasty little air bubbles or little patchy cloudy stuff but yeah they were so pretty I'm still doing it I'm editing the video now going I love that color why do I not have this color on me so yeah I'm gonna just do that and then I will obviously move on to the other hand but I've cut all that out because you don't want to see me doing the exact same thing again which is all I do but once I've done the other hand which will feel in this video oh there we're done um, I'm gonna come in, come in and file it now because I do her nails so often and my application is quite smooth I don't particularly do much filing I make sure them side walls and free edge is done and that's about it I do come in with my e-file to refine it but I'm more just making sure that them side walls are on point because yeah so there's not much really I'm doing I'm filing I spend my life covered in dust but yeah, I, I was just in love with this set. I've only done this set this morning and I'm like, it's so pretty, I need this now. Because I'm not organised enough to <laughs> record in advance. <laughs> so yeah, this is as fresh as a daisy. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I genuinely loved it. So once I have done that, I don't particularly do much to the free edge at this angle because this is the angle I see, not the angle my client sees. So once I have finished making sure them side walls are straight, I do turn her round and we're going to make sure that it's straight from her view. Because she's the one looking at it all day, not me. Oh no, we don't. We, we, we refine the acrylic first, yes. So I am coming in, and this is more of a buffing, polishing, just all round amazing little bit. It's, it's so fab because it's soft enough that if, if it does touch the skin, hell, it is designed for skin. <laughs> but it also just buffs out that acrylic so nice and so smooth so yeah it, it is one of my favorite bits yeah I pretty much my favorite three bits <laughs> so yeah I was chattering away while I were doing it that's why sometimes it's like I'm doing one thing and it's doing another because yeah I'm stopping to talk so like I said I turn her around because this is the angle she will see and obviously we want to make sure what she's seeing is pretty and everything and I am almost ready for coming in with my tack free top gloss now so I'm just making sure that all that dust and debris is gone from the filing so I hope you've enjoyed this really short little cute video and um, obviously my client does not like sharp corners so we are just removing the sharp edges because it's what she likes and that's cool because ain't nobody want to be taking their eye out long talons are short so thanks for watching guys as always I love you all and if you are not already I would love it if you would subscribe and click like thank you and just wait for the picture oh my god it's so cute I need them I need them so much Bye, guys. <laughs>